Today I'll be talking about the time when all the lights inside the back rooms mysteriously went out and didn't come back on for months. This event is known as the flicker and you better hope it never happens again inside the back rooms unless you enjoy being consumed by smilers. To fully understand this phenomenon and the flicker as a whole, what it is, what happened, I'm going to take you back to the beginning and explain the entire sequence of events. On the morning of February 1st, 2016, everything was pretty normal inside the back rooms, as normal as you can get. The lights were buzzing, the loneliness was normal, the creatures were where they should be, and everything was pretty usual. Until later in the afternoon on that day. All the electricity and all the lights suddenly went out with no warning. Indoor levels lost their lights and outdoor levels lost their moons and suns. Everything was pitch black in just a few seconds randomly. This turned the back rooms into a time of infinite, absolute darkness for months. The effects of the flicker were huge on the life of wanderers in the back rooms and it made somehow an already awful place to be in even worse. Entities and humans alike were forced to live in pure darkness without the knowledge of when or if the lights would ever come back. So that sets the stage for this absolutely horrifying event. And now I wanna go through the timeline of everything that happened and the events leading up to it and how it eventually fixed itself. But more importantly, I wanna shine light, ironically, on how disturbing these five months of pitch blackness through every backroom's level was. The initial failure. Since no one had any warning or any suspicion that the lights would get shut off in the backrooms, most wanderers' posts and outposts fell into dismay instantly. There was no more electrical communication, there was no internet or Wi-Fi connections, and many people didn't have flashlights on them already, so they were just stuck in pitch darkness and many people began to freak out. Large wanderer camps on levels 1 and 4 were the first to secure themselves and try to reestablish communication amongst each other. And at this point, the main focus was pretty much just trying to figure out why this happened. Now luckily for the wanderers in the first few levels, random generators were found that could work and provide a small amount of lighting and power for a few days. Although like I said, it didn't last long since there was no gas or no electric to recharge them. As you might expect, during this blackout time, smilers ran rampant. They were all over the place, and they were even in levels where they shouldn't be, or they usually didn't venture into. As well as people who were already low on sanity, or were about to lose their mind, or if they were lost and alone in deep levels, they would succumb to the wretched cycle much faster than normal, since there was no light at all. So you had a bunch of smilers running around, you had complete and utter darkness, you had people turning into wretches more often, everything just got worse. As these weeks of darkness turned into months, many groups completely and utterly vanished and still have not been seen to this day. It's as if they walked out of bounds and were consumed by the back rooms. As another month of confusion and danger passed, the generators all eventually stopped working and people had to just keep moving with flashlights and headlamps and any fire that they could create. Because other than this, there was no electricity, no lights, nothing. And in a weird way, this lack of electricity actually caused a ton of exploration to happen deeper inside the back rooms. These explorations happened for a reason, of course. They were to find shelter and supplies, and maybe even a safe level that has lights. But this mass exploration led to the discovery of a bunch of new levels. Level 188 was actually discovered during this time, and it's since become a favorite amongst wanderers in the back rooms and fans of the series. It's speculated that it became a favorite to wanderers due to its small size and the fact that they couldn't get lost. It was kind of just all contained. More levels like level 0.7 and level negative 4 were found as well, and a bunch of other ones proved to be much more difficult to explore. Because the flicker was happening, there was no natural light in them, and it made an impossibly hard level to explore even more difficult. Like imagine an already hard level with strange layouts, weird walls, and weird effects. Now you're having to explore this place in utter darkness with no electric. 
But it really was not the lack of electric that was the main problem. It, it was a big problem, don't get me wrong. But the main problem, as I mentioned earlier, was entities, since creatures were also affected by the flicker. A huge uptick in entity attacks and sightings occurred right after the flicker. And for the months to follow, things just got more deadly. The number and the frequency of wretches and smilers and skin stealers all skyrocketed, making that travel and exploration I just talked about even worse for people. Smilers were essentially just constantly feasting and growing because of the advanced darkness that plagued every level. Months and months of pure, pitch black darkness passed. People continued to die, entities ran rampant, safe levels were no longer safe, and everything was continuing to collapse. Even the famous level 399, the level that everybody thought was safe, a paradise to go to, it pretty much collapsed fully. All the supplies were gone, people were starving, smilers somehow got in the level and were having a field day, and it was no longer viable to go to for safety. Now because the electricity was completely gone, it wasn't just the lights that suffered. Levels with air conditioning and climate control didn't have any now, so people began to freeze or to overheat because of that. Some levels got so cold inside that ice crystals began to form, and some levels overheated to the point where things were melting. Outdoor levels became frozen wastelands, with no end in sight, due to the lack of a sun. Three months after this chaos and after all the lights went off, on April 26, 2016, level 1 became the first level to fully regain power. This marked the beginning of the end for the Flicker event, and over the next few weeks and months, more and more levels began to gain the electricity back, and most of them eventually got back their power. However, a surprisingly large number never regained electricity, and if they did, parts of them could still remain in darkness. Now that the blackout is over, several levels, like level 3, have had their day and night cycles completely changed and turned upside down. Most day-night cycles now fluctuate randomly, and they have less stability, and you can't really guess when they're going to happen. Many levels are also in a state of disrepair, due to the panic and the influx of wanderers traveling through them, and entities as well. After this flicker event ended and the lights came back on, several blackouts continued to happen on random levels. These blackouts were much shorter and much less dangerous than the flicker itself, but the mass amount of entities in the levels is still a huge issue, and people are terrified that another flicker event could happen again, and if it does, they don't really think they could survive it. I mean like six months in complete darkness. That would make anybody, even with the best mental health, go insane. And just like the flicker event page says, if it happened once, it could always happen again. To this day, no one knows how or why all the electricity went off. But it does mean a few things. One is that all the electric in the back rooms at every single infinite level is definitely controlled by something somewhere. Since everything went dark at the same time, that means that one area is controlling it. That also means there could be a kill switch or there could be somebody controlling it all. It also means that the back room's power source, wherever it is, is not infinite, and it is not invincible or infallible to change. Those two things were previously thought not to be true. It was originally thought that the backrooms just created its own energy and that it would never go out, and that's how things like level zero were always buzzing with lights and electricity. But we see now that that's not the case. To close off this video, I just want to read the final paragraph from the page that has this event, because I think it sounds really good, and it really wraps things up perfectly. It says, quote, for many, it is believed that the flicker has not ended, but rather instead has simply entered a new stage. A stage where people do not take light for granted, where danger lurks around the corner. A stage where wanderers are now armed and ready, trade routes and communities and outposts are heavily guarded, and where communities tread lightly. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This page was amazing. Seriously, this is one of my favorite pages I've read in months. Shout out to the author, Accountus, for making this. I genuinely love this concept. The way it's written is amazing. It's very, like, addictive to read. It just comes across so well. You can really feel the fear and terror the way it was uh, created. Leave a like if you want more videos like this and more phenomenons and more events. I definitely love this, and hopefully I conveyed it in a way where it makes sense to you. Anyways, leave a comment below on what you want to see in the next video. Thank you for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.